Okay, so change of plan. So I was looking at the these little gutter type areas and I wasn't shocked, but still dismayed. They're full of gunk, full of rubbish, even though they're kind of open to the outside. So there's, they're not wet, they're just full of, well, they were just full of dirt. So I've decided I'm not dealing with that. I vacuumed them all out, washed them with a sponge, and I've filled them all, but one, with the, uh, what was it called again? The, the gutter sealant stuff. Now, if you ever wondered, you know, does that stuff ever really truly set? The answer is emphatically no, because I found a half used tube of the stuff that I had used previously and hadn't properly sealed. Oh, sorry, two seconds here. And hadn't properly sealed. And once I took out the, the hardened, well, the, well, 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 hardened, the semi-hardened stuff that was in the tube, in the, the nozzle, the rest of it was serviceable. Although I did have to perform a, which one is it? I think this is one, yeah, I did have to perform an emergency C-section on it to get it out. But it was actually, it actually was um, quite handy because it was reasonably firm. So I was able to, you know, like actually squash it in with my thumb even, and it didn't get too much in my hands. But, you know, it was firm enough where it was almost like putty, where I could really squish it in and get it in. Whereas the fresher stuff is a bit too sticky for that. So, and because it's quite viscous, the, when you squish, when you try and, you know, cock it into the, the little gutter areas, they don't fully fill. But um, I'm reasonably certain if I just give it a couple of days before it to start to set up, I can then go around and just, you know, like push it all, you know, push it all in. So I say all, all but one. The one I didn't do is behind that stuff because even though I had two and a half tubes, I was still short by one, by one, by one, by one, maybe one and a half gutters. <sighs> okay, right, fair enough then. Okay, so while I was moving stuff around, I've decided to give this, give these rails here a spray. They didn't necessarily need them because there was almost no white rust on them at all. The you know, inside the shed is not too bad as far as the corrosion is concerned. It, obviously it's more on the outside, but I gave them all well, I gave, well, until the can emptied, that is, I gave all the, the rails on this side a go and round there are done. It's just this corner. So, but I'm not going to open, I'm not going to bust open another can right now. I'll, I'll have to wait tomorrow because it's getting late. Right. Okay, I possibly made a mistake here. I don't think I have. Right, so the slabs in here are filthy. You know, they're all caked with a thin film of mud from years of having gardening stuff in here. And if I'm in here, like, maybe woodworking or, you know, building models or painting, I don't, you know, I, I want a clean, I want the floor at least to be clean. I don't want to be constantly going, you know. So I think I'm going to have to get power washer to this. Now, you may have seen a flaw in my plan here, or lack of plan. This is going to be all full of water. Now, no, I don't think I've made a, that much of a mistake because these gutters are raised up, see the, the, the rim? So even if I hadn't have filled them in, if I come in here, the pressure washer, and give this up a blast, even if I'm trying to direct it in this direction, the, I don't think they would have drained through those uh, through those holes. But I think it will drain anyway because the, the bond between the tiles, not the tiles, the, the slabs, they're basically slabs, not tiles. The bond between the slabs and the bottom you know, square rail of the shed is very gappy because it's only held down in a couple of places with some you know, thick but really rusted bolts. The, and to be fair, the, the slabs aren't exactly, you know, they're not exactly super level anyway. So there's gonna be gaps around the periphery where water can drain. The, I may have to get a mop to be honest, to try and, you know, like soak up most of the water, you know, try and, Try and direct the spray in the direction of the door anyway. You need to try and help me there. But uh, yeah, I think tomorrow. What was that? Okay, I think tomorrow is going to be using 
this stuff to fill in these sections and your know, more more cleaning spray and then I'm gonna to have to direct my attention to the bottom rail because it's it's not too bad because it's inside but there is definite rust spots because you know all the moisture is going downwards so I think I'm gonna wire brush the inside rail all around which means I'm gonna to have to move all this stuff again you know like move it all to this side do that side move it all back you know so I've still got two cans of the spray paint left I've only used one for all of that and the I did up there as well and the outside so I should have plenty to and the outside of that as well so I should, I should have plenty to do that this corner and all the way around the bottom now I think I'll do that next because then when I wash the floor whether it be with you know brushes or power washer or whatever way I'm going to do it the I can then let wash up any overspray effectively because it, it because I don't imagine it will stick too well to the, the slabs I don't, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter as long as it's clean I don't care if there's overspray it's just, it's just the shed and uh yeah I think that's uh that's me for for the day Cheerio.